Mm, my pocket squares. Definitely my pocket squares. <laughs> and can I say my smile? <laughs> My name is Dean Harris and I'm the owner of Dean Harris Experiences and I create corporate and boutique travel experiences and I also look after delegates at conferences. I chose to do what I do because I love making other people feel happy about where they are or what they're doing. Whether it's in my hometown Brisbane now or whether it's on a beach in Bali or it could be a cruise through the uh, Isles of, of Fiji. I enjoy seeing other people happy and whatever I can do to make sure that they enjoy themselves and have a wonderful experience is why I do what I do. The unknown, I guess. Um, my industry is very um, forward, I suppose, in what it does. I work with a, a large range of people from corporate to client, uh, clients to um, boutique clients and they're always wanting something different. The element of what I do is to create experiences, so I'm always having to try and find something different for somebody to do, and do it in a different way, that they then get to enjoy the same thing, in essence, but a totally different experience every time. Yes, I was very fortunate to grow up uh, with a wonderful mother and father, and I'm the youngest of three boys. I grew up on Tambourine Mountain in the Gold Coast hinterland, and uh, very rural area, I guess, and very family orientated. My grandparents were close by, and uh, I uh, stayed on Tambourine Mountain until I was well into, into my 20s. My grandfather is purely my uh, family inspiration. Uh, an English gentleman who moved to Australia when he was quite young, started with nothing, and formed an amazing family and network of friends in a community on Tambourine Mountain and in other places in the rural areas. But he is somebody that I like to aspire to and certainly somebody that uh, challenges me and keeps me uh, focused on where I want to go. I live in Brisbane because it's, at its essence, it's a beautiful city. We are very lucky here that we don't need a draw card, we don't need an iconic building, we don't need a style or charisma that categorises us or categorises us. Brisbane itself is the most beautiful part about Brisbane and people come to Brisbane because they see it and they want to be in it and that's why I've never left the goal. <laughs> longevity, <laughs> stay around as long as I can, be involved in Brisbane in the best way that I can. Uh, I like to see that there are always different things coming along, there are always different people coming to Brisbane and they bring in a different point or a different style and, uh, and that's what I want to be around for, I want to experience all of those different things for as long as I possibly can. Uh, my business philosophy, uh, stay true to your word. If you say you're going to do something, do it. Um, and never be afraid to say to somebody, I don't know if that's something that I'm the best person for, but I certainly know somebody that is. So always be honest with people. Honesty comes out in a lot of different ways. And I think the best way of that is by showing people that who you are is what you are. And they'll always come and respect that. Well, I like to think that I add a bit of flair to Brisbane. I try to uh, always go on the edge a little. I try to always um, be that little bit different to everybody else. Everybody has their own persona. Everybody has their own place in life. But I think if you push the boundaries just a little bit every once in a while, it encourages other people to do the same. Just do it. Take whatever you've got. Take the drive that you have, whatever it might be, and run with it. You don't, you don't get anywhere without taking risks and regret is a hard word to deal with later on.